my dear students in this video we will discuss how to insert an element at the beginning of a given single linked list let us see how an element could be inserted at the beginning of a given single linked list yes there are two cases we will discuss two cases and also let us assume item is equal to 10 is the element to be inserted at the beginning so 10 has to be inserted into the linked list what are the two cases yes case 1 when the singly linked list is empty that is when start is equal to null so how to insert a new element when the singly linked list is empty that is when start is equal to null that is case 1 what is case 2 when the singly linked list is not empty it means there are already few elements in the linked list and start is not equal to null so case 1 start is equal to null case 2 start is not equal to null let us come to case 1 first what we have to do yes whenever you have to insert a new element you require a new node yes let us create a new node pointed by p yes now you have a new node which is pointed by p next what else you have to do item is the element that has to be inserted we will put this uh, 10 into the node yes let us insert item 10 into the node yes next what, what we have to do what should be the address part of p it should be null let us make the address part of the node null yes we will make this null next all of you know start always should contain the address of the first node now there was no node in the linked list linked list was empty we have created a new node which is pointed by p and start should contain the address of this therefore now this is the only node in the list and hence start will contain the address of this node yes start will contain the address of this node yes see at the beginning start was equal to null now after inserting 10 start is containing the address of this node which is containing 10 that's all case 1 that's all nothing more that's all you have to do now we shall come to case 2 case 2 also same thing yes we have this linked list case 2 start is not equal to null start is containing the address of the linked list there are three nodes in the linked list 76 08 and 54 so what is the first step same thing create a new node which is pointed by p yes we will create a new node which is pointed by p next yes we have to insert 10 into the node let us insert item 10 into the node yes 10 is inserted now what should be the address part of p see p should be connected to the linked list therefore what should be the address part of p address part of p should contain start now let us connect this new node to the existing list how to connect this new node to the existing list yes address part of p should contain the address of start address start yes now start should it remain the same or should it be changed yes it has to be changed now the starting node is not 76 starting node is 10 therefore change the address of start yes start instead of containing the address of 76 now it will contain the address of 10 yes start is containing the address of 10 yes 10 is inserted at the beginning very good next what else that's all that's all nothing else so in both the cases how to insert an element at the beginning we have seen uh, yes let us write the function to insert an element at the beginning of a given single linked list yes case 1 start is equal to null case 2 start is not equal to null in case 2 there is a linked list yes in case 2 there is a linked list uh, the address of the linked list is there in start start will contain the address of the first node 760854 yes very good now struct node star insert sll beg insert sll means single linked list beg means beginning insert sll beginning meaning we are inserting an element at the beginning of a single linked list that is it what are the two things that uh, that are to be passed to the function one is the starting address of the linked list therefore struct node star uh, start and item to be inserted in item so you require the address of the linked list and also you require one element to be inserted yes in this let us assume item is equal to 10 the function returns a pointer of the type struct node you can just see struct node star insert sll back meaning insert sll back function will return a pointer of the type structure of the type node yes it will return a pointer of the type structure of the type node yes 
struck node star p yes we have declared a temporary um, uh, structure pointer to the structure node p now what is the first step the first step is we have to create a new node which is pointed by p in both the cases whatever case yes in both the cases what is the first step we create a new node which is pointed by p what is the next step we have to insert 10 into this new node in both the cases so 10 is uh, yes whenever you are creating a new node yes this is the uh, statement p is equal to struct node star malloc size of struct node yes we will write that next we have to insert 10 yes here also we insert here also we insert so what is the statement that we have to write there p of info is equal to item item is equal to 10 therefore p of info is equal to item next what we will do is we will check the condition if start is equal to null what we have to do yes if start is equal to null what we have to do just see the case one what should happen to p of next p of next should become equal to null the address part of p should become equal to null so what is the statement that we have to write p of next is equal to null now again case one you see start should contain the address of this node therefore what should happen to the value of start start is equal to p yes start is equal to p anything else that's all that's all very simple now we shall come to the else part just see the case two else part so what should happen to p of next address part of p p of next that is address part of sheet should contain start that is p of next is equal to start yes p of next is equal to start see the arrow p of next is equal to start write down the statement also p of next is equal to start and start should it be at 76 or 10 yes start should come to 10 because now sir, the node containing 76 is not the first node the node containing 10 is the first node therefore we should change start start is equal to p that's all that's all both the cases are over we return the value of start that's all the function very simple so what we do is we take two cases when case is case one when start is equal to null case two when start is not equal to null very simple inserting an element at the beginning of a uh, linked list single linked list it is very simple i think you should be able to easily manage this function